I just started falling, Shawnee Miller says her legs were going numb and she fell when she dove across the finish line to win an Olympic gold medal. Shawnee Miller won gold in the 400m event ahead of Allison Felix. Miller was accused of cheating when she dived over the finish line. She insists that she had tripped and fell when she dived to win the gold. The 22-year-old athlete said it really wasn't intentional and that her legs had started to go after giving it her all. João Vitor de Oliveira did the same to win the 110 meters hurdles semi-final. Olympic runner Shawnee Miller claims she tripped and fell when she dived over the finish line to win gold at Rio. America's Allison Felix looked set to win the 400-meter dash on Monday, when she was edged out of first place thanks to the last-minute dive from the Bahamian sprinter. It really wasn't, intentional, Miller told Good Morning America, adding that she'd gone so hard that her legs were giving out by the end of the race. I got to the 300, meters, first and when I got to about 40 more meters to go, my legs were so heavy from going around so fast she said. I started to lose feelings in them and when I was headed towards the line, I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to go. The rules state that placings are determined on whose torso crosses the line first. Even if it was a deliberate dive, Miller would not have contravened the rules but, bloodied and bruised afterwards, she said she could not remember the winning moment. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I am lying on the ground right now said Miller. I don't know what happened. My mind just went blank. I heard my mom screaming. When I heard that, I was like, okay, I must have won the race. Miller, a former world junior champion, was awarded the victory in a personal best time of 49.44 seconds. She spent several minutes afterwards lying on the track as a smiling Felix went to offer her congratulations. It's such an amazing feeling, said Miller. My coaches were so pumped. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I just gave it my all. I have cuts and bruises, a few burns, but, hey, I got a medal out of it. Debate had raged on Tuesday among athletes and experts about the ethics of using the technique to win a race. Some had even gone so far as to suggest that Miller had cheated. The 22-year-old athlete said she was surprised by the controversy surrounding her win but refused to let it affect her. It's a part of the sport, Miller, 22, said of track rules that allow runners to dive across the finish line. It's been done so many times in the sport. The Bahamian sprinter says she doesn't know whether she would have won without the dive. I can't say, it was a really close race, she said. Sometimes the diving can help, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know how it would have played out, but it played in my favor. Some fellow athletes had come to Miller's defense amid the controversy. People, are mad Miller won with a dive but most pros at one point have used that tactic to win, U.S. athlete Lolo Jones, of track and field and Bob Sleeting, wrote on Twitter. Miller didn't cheat Allison, she won fair. Jones added, America we have won medals off of dives, so please have more class about Miller. If Allison had dove and won, everyone would be commending her heart, wrote American athlete Ryan Wilson, who competes in 110 meters hurdles, on Twitter. Sprinter Michael Johnson tweeted another perspective, Shawnee Miller's dive was to recover from falling. Sprinters know the quickest way across the line is a well-timed lean. Trust me on that. Miller says she has never intentionally dived to secure a win, but admits she has fallen across the finish line once previously at a college sprint. Her coach Lance Bryuman was also quick to dispel rumors of cheating. She gave everything she had and her legs gave out at the line, he said. It was not intentional. Sports Mail understands athletics governing body, the IF will review the rule but it is thought it will not lead to a change. A source said, if we were seeing people diving across the line in every race it might provoke an alteration but it's unlikely this case will make a difference as it's not even clear if she did it deliberately. In the end, Miller finished the race at 49.44, a person best to Felix's 49.51. 
her season's best. Felix was the favorite for this race. It's painful, said Felix. I feel emotionally and physically drained at this point. I don't think I've quite had a year this tough. I really wanted it. Nevertheless the silver was her seventh Olympic medal, pushing her ahead of Jackie Joyner Kersey as the most decorated American athlete in history. Jamaica Shirka Jackson finished in third place with 49.85, with the two other Americans in the race finishing fourth and fifth. Earlier in the night Brazilian 110 meters hurdler João Vitor de Oliveira had assured his place in the semi-finals by diving across the line to finish in the first four in his heat. He made no attempt to disguise his methods. I always do that, he said. It's no accident, I broke my ribs doing it in China. Miller's Olympic debut came at the 2012 London Olympics but the then 18-year-old had a hamstring injury and had to set out the event. She has called the injury just a minor setback for a major comeback. Last year, she placed second at the 2015 World Championship. Felix took gold. After the Olympics, she is set to marry Dekadilat Maisela Ibo of Estonia. Now I can start planning, said Miller who also won 400 meters medals at the 2010 World Junior Championships and the 2011 World Youth Championships. We kind of put everything on pause for a little bit just to focus on the Olympics, so while he's competing I'm going to do a little bit of planning here and there.